Hi everyone, it's Debbie from the Y. Saturday, May 23rd is World Turtle Day, and I am so excited to tell you about it. I love turtles. Turtles, I don't know if you know, are reptiles, which means they're related to lizards and snakes and alligators. And like those animals, turtles hatch out of eggs, not hard eggs like bird eggs, but kind of soft, leathery eggs. And they have scales. Let me show you a picture of a turtle with scales. If you look right here, you can see the scales on the turtle's legs. They have them all over their body. And we're going to talk about this a little bit later. The thing that makes turtles so different from all the other reptiles, of course, is their shell. Turtle shells are beautiful. They come in lots of different sizes and shapes and colors. But did you know that the turtle's shell is attached to its backbone? Take two fingers, put them around your back and see if you can feel your backbone. It should feel like a string of beads going from the base of your, your skull all the way to the bottom of your back. Turtles' shells are part of their backbone. So if you look right here, you can see there's the turtle's spine. And it's got those same bumps on it, the way your spine has bumps. So if you ever see those cartoons where the turtle takes its shell off, like you would take off a shirt, doesn't happen. It's attached. The shell is part of its backbone. It cannot take its shell off any more than you can take your spine off or your head. So this particular shell, I think, is from a snapping turtle, but I'm not positive. You can see the, these are called scoots, and they are like giant scales. Like the scales on the turtle's skin got bigger and turned into bone. And these things sometimes shed. They'll sometimes peel off. The shell has bone on the inside. This is bone. And the shiny part out here, these scoots are called keratin. They're made of keratin, which is the same stuff that your fingernails are made of. So if you ever have a turtle in your hand, feel your fingernail and feel the scoots on the turtle's shell, and you can feel that they're made out of the same thing. So, this part of the turtle's shell is called the carapace. That's the outside part that goes on the back. But if you look at this shell, which is also from a snapping turtle, but a much bigger snapping turtle, here's the carapace with the scoots. They look like giant scales. You turn it over, and this part goes across the turtle's chest. This is called the plastron. And you can see that it's all attached. It's one big piece attached to the spine. Hopefully you can see in there, but the backbone is in there just the same way it's in this one. So here's the plastron with bone on the inside and the spine and you turn it over, and here are the scoots covered with keratin scales. Now, did you know that there are many, many hundreds of different kinds of turtles in the world, but they're all broken down into three main categories? And I'm gonna show those to you now. When you think of a turtle, chances are you're thinking of a pond turtle. These are the turtles you see in streams and ponds here in Connecticut. This particular one is an Eastern painted turtle, I think, or maybe that's a red-eared slider. Anyway, it is a turtle that lives in a pond. And I took this particular picture from the internet, not because this is a normal 
pose for turtles. They don't usually do this. But because this turtle is stretching itself out on this log, showing you its webbed feet. Pond turtles have webbed feet. Pond turtles live in, you guessed it, ponds. They sometimes live in rivers and streams also. But they can't live on the land for long periods of time. They need to be in the water. And they can't live in the ocean. They need to be in fresh water. They have a pretty flat shell and webbed feet and pretty sharp claws so they can crawl around onto logs so they can sun themselves. So that's one type of turtle, the pond turtle. Another type of turtle is the box turtle. These are land turtles. They're very different from pond turtles. They do not have webbed feet. Their shell is much rounder, whereas the pond turtle, the water turtles have very flat shells. The land turtles have a very round shell. And if you put this guy in the water, he'll drown. They live near water sometimes so they can drink, but they can't swim. These are very different kinds of turtle. These guys make very good pets. Box turtles make excellent pets. I'm not sure if you can see in this picture, but this particular box turtle has red eyes. That way you can tell it's a male. The females have brown eyes, not red eyes. Okay, so we have the water turtles, we have the land turtles, and the last one is the sea turtle. Very, very different animal. They are much, much bigger. Some of these guys grow to be bigger than a person. But look at their feet. These are webbed so they can swim. And they don't even have claws in the front. All they have are flippers. So you can imagine these guys don't do very well on land. As a matter of fact, the males never come out of the ocean, ever. They never come on the land. And the females only come out on the land once a year to lay their eggs on the beach, and then they go back to the ocean. These guys are strictly ocean animals. And you can't put these guys in a pond. First of all, they're too big. And second of all, the fresh water isn't healthy for them. They need salt water. These guys need fresh water. And these guys can't swim at all. So I wanted to show you the three different kinds of turtles. And I wanted to show you how to make some turtles. Very simple. If you happen to have paper bowls at your house, I had a couple left over from a party. All you have to do is take a piece of paper. I use green. You can use whatever color you want. I add the green. You trace the bowl. And then you add a head and a tail and two back legs and two front legs. And then you color it and cut it out. To save you the pain and suffering of watching me try and color and cut, I made one beforehand. So this is mine, colored and cut out. I already colored my paper bowl. You can color it any way you want, in any colors you want, in any pattern or design you want. You could make a rainbow turtle. You could make a black and white turtle. It's entirely up to you, my friends. This is your turtle. So once you have your turtle cut and colored, you have your bowl all colored, you take your glue, put a line of glue right around the edge. You could also use a glue stick if you don't have regular glue. Flip it over and glue it down. I would say leave this for a few hours just to make sure that the glue dries. 
And there you have your very own turtle to celebrate World Turtle Day. If you can't do this at home or if you'd like more to do, on the Glastonbury Wise Facebook page, you should also find an MP3 No, the MP3, is never mind. This is a PDF. All these initials are very confusing. This is a PDF file. Here's the sea turtle with the flippers. Here's the pond turtle with its webbed feet. And here's the land turtle with its round shell. And you can color these in. Enjoy World Turtle Day, my friends. Stay safe. Bye.